Hello, YouTube friend. I've been using my tractor a lot in the backhoe, and I started having an issue where I have a floppy joystick here. So I'm going to take this apart. Hopefully it's just an adjustment and not parts, but we will find out what it is, and we'll let you know. Yep, see, look right here. Come here over here. So this is the problem right here. This nut is loose. If I tighten that nut back up, this should respond. So let's get some wrenches and do that. All right. Okay, obviously the boot that's on here isn't keeping all of the water out. My tractor has to stay outside for now until I get a garage built. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole bunch of grease down in there to help prevent the water penetration and um, keep away some of the rust so I can get my tractor. And so I'm gonna put that in, put it on before I put the boot on. Let's see if I can't just squirt it everywhere. So here we go. And then we'll get a little bit from the other side and we'll just get grease on everything and that should kind of help prevent the rust a little bit for now okay so i've taken some of the grease and worked it around this lip here just in case that's where the penetration from the water is happening i'm going to slide this boot on now and then put a zip tie around it and i guess i could even put a zip tie around up here that might help too get it down around on the bottom Almost there. Okay, there it is. Okay, I am going to put the one around the bottom because that'll keep the boot from sliding off or assist, but I'm also going to try and put one at the top to try and keep water from getting in. Well, I need more than two. I might. Looks like I can get it with two, maybe just barely. Okay, and then I'll get a, I'll get a pair of pliers to pull on that. My hands are all slippery right now, and then I'm gonna grab a black one. I'm going to put a black one around here, and hopefully this will stop water from getting in there. I don't think water was the issue of why it stopped working, but there's clearly rust in there. And I definitely want to prevent that as much as possible, since my tractor will have to remain outside for a little while. Longer. Okay, let me get a pair of pliers, but I think that should do it.
All right, let's put the camera back on. Now these levers are set up the way a tractor backhoe is set up where this moves the boom left and right or left and right and up and down and this is the stick out and the curl and I was thinking about eventually changing some of them around some of the hoses around so that it's more like a mini excavator but that's a future project today we just need it to work so on a mini excavator this stick over here will do your curl if you move it left and right and it will move your boom up and down and this one over here will do your boom left and right and then do your stick in and out and that's not the way it is set right now that's this is this is set at like a, as a tractor backhoe the mini excavators are set up typically differently not sure why ls chose to do that or if it's just all tractors that do that all tractor backhoes something to look into all right, let's get these screws tightened, these bolts. I know in a second if I got these in the right place. Nope, that's got to be the wrong one. This nut right here sets, oops, got careful. This nut sets the depth, which will then allow it to end up tight at the correct location. Yep, I must have touched it. All right, let's start her up and go give her a shot somewhere. Looks like it's fixed. We can put it back to work. That's that.